morning everybody and welcome to another weekly vlog. It is currently Tuesday the 7th of March, it's 10.43am. Uh, Nick and I got back from our European adventure at about 1.30 last night so I'm a bit tired. I went to make myself a cup of tea this morning only to realise that I'd already given away all of my tea bags. So I just went to Pret and got myself a cup of tea. Um, and today basically my plan is just a lot of admin stuff. I have a lot of washing to do from our trip um, and also from stuff from before we went away. I've got three videos that I want to edit and upload or schedule so I don't have to worry about that while I'm away and travelling home. Um, I also have a few like closing of accounts and bills and stuff things that I need to sort out as well this week. Basically I've got a lot of admin stuff that I need to do today and I don't really plan on leaving the house again hence no makeup and haven't bothered to do my hair. Um, but yeah this is our last week in London. It's not even a full week. As I said today it's Tuesday and we leave uh, for New York on Sunday afternoon. So we basically have like five and a half days at this point which is kind of scary but it's also really exciting. We're basically all there with the packing once all of this washing is done and dry I can pack away that. I think we'll be good to go. Um, I've also got a few exciting things planned for this week which of course I will show you. Um, so yeah, come along with me on my very last week in London. Hello guys, it is Wednesday. I'm starting the vlog quite late today. It is already uh, quarter past four. Today Nick and I were having a very productive day in terms of getting stuff done. We were doing the last bits of our packing to make sure that everything uh, was going to fit and was under the weight limit which it was which was good and then I got an email from our Airbnb host who we are staying with in New York if you guys remember ages ago I mentioned that we found a really cool Airbnb apartment and we couldn't wait to stay in it um, he just randomly messaged me out of the blue and said that we couldn't stay there anymore um, and he cancelled my booking so that was a little bit stressful I tweeted as well um, if any of you follow me on Twitter you might have seen it but that this is very remnant of when we moved house um, and Nick and I were set to move into that apartment and like I'm pretty sure it was about five days as well before we were meant to move in um, she cancelled our I guess like our lease and said that we couldn't stay there anymore but we jumped right back on Airbnb and we found a place which looks even cooler Fingers crossed that this one doesn't get cancelled. Now Nick and I are actually on our way into town. I'm not sure if we'll have time to do our errands, um, but tonight we're heading along to see Book of Mormon, which I'm really excited about. For Christmas from Charlie's and my parents, they got um, Mark, Charlie, Nick and I tickets to go and see Book of Mormon, which I've never seen, but it's a musical that I've always wanted to see before I leave London. So that will be good timing. And then we're also going to go to Five Guys for dinner because that is our favourite burger joint and it's probably going to be the last time that we have it. Friday the 10th of March today. It's also my dad's birthday, so happy birthday dad if you're watching. Um, today, forgetting that we made that reservation for Hawksmoor for dinner last night, I went and booked us in for breakfast at a place called Duck and Waffle, which is I guess kind of like a well-known place around London. It's a restaurant on like the 40th floor, so you have absolutely incredible views. Um, and they serve things like waffles, and I think one of the meals has duck in it, hence duck and waffle. Um, but yeah, so we are just about to Head out to there, even though, as I said, I'm still very full from dinner last night. Today is our second to last full day in London, which is pretty insane. So we leave um, midday on Sunday. Um, and yeah, last night when we were coming home from dinner, we walked over the Waterloo Bridge. Um, and I definitely had one of those moments that, I don't really know how to describe it, but I was like looking out at the views and how pretty the London skyline was. And I was feeling like very content with my decision to go home, but also like knowing how much I was going to miss London at the same time. I still don't think moving home feels real yet. I think because we are going to New York on the way of going home, when we leave London, it will just be as if we're going on holiday, but we just have all of our belongings with us. I don't know. I'm not sure when it's going to hit me, um, but I will keep you guys updated anyway, just in case you guys are moving or going through something similar and you're not sure how you're going to feel. Yes, 
yesterday on our way home from dinner, uh, we stopped in our favorite craft beer shop, which is a place called We Bought Beer. Um, I think there's more than one of them around, but the one that we go to is by Clapham Junction. And Nick bought this beer that it says, make apple pie great again. And the guy told us, here you go, that it tasted exactly like apple pie. So we're gonna do a bit of a taste test. Holy shit. It does taste like apple yeah. pie? Let's have a go. Oh my gosh, how does that happen? It's like, it obviously tastes like beer when you first drink it, but then the aftertaste is like a cinnamony Cinnamon. apple. Wow. Ooh, that's good, there you go. It's called cloud water if you wanna see if you can get it uh, wherever you live. All right, so it's a bit later on in the day now and Nick and I are just getting ready uh, to head down to Dutch Courage where we're having our leaving drinks. It feels very weird. I think my brain knows that something's going on now because I'm feeling a bit strange, but not like it hasn't completely hit me yet, but I've got my waterproof mascara on just in case I cry. Um, I'm gonna take my camera, but I'm sure you guys can understand that my main focus and my main priority is gonna be saying goodbye to my friends. So I'll try and film like a few background clips, but this next clip might be me ending the vlog. Um, yeah, everything is feeling very real right about now. just got home from our leaving drinks. We actually left the bar at about 11 o'clock, which was also a lot later than we intended, seeing as we got there at like uh, 4.30 or 5 o'clock, but it was really nice just hanging out with everybody and catching up. I definitely cried a few times. Um, so it's definitely feeling a lot more real now that we are leaving. Um, but yeah, we left the bar about 11 o'clock and Nick and I headed back to Charlie and Mark's flat and we ended up just hanging out with them um, and watching She's the Man, which is one of Charlie's and my favorite movies. So it was really nice to just like have some quality time and just, I guess, do something normal like watching a movie because um, we haven't done that for quite a while. So yeah, this has been my last week in London. Um, as I said, from now onwards, it's feeling very real. Um, exciting, but also sad. So it's like a bittersweet goodbye because I think when I was leaving New Zealand, I knew that one day I would be back because New Zealand is home. Um, and it was like exciting to move to London and do something really fun. And moving back to New Zealand is exciting and really fun because it's like a new chapter of my life. But I guess I don't know when I'll next be back in London. And a lot of my friends are also kind of gonna disperse over the next few months and they're not all gonna be in London. So it's a bit sadder because I don't know, I feel like this is probably the last time that we're all going to be together for a while. But I'm focusing on the positive. Um, as I said, thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. And I will see you in New York.